the latest on that deadly earthquake in central Italy. CBS News correspondent Alan Pizzi is in L'Aquila this morning, the epicenter of the quake. In the heavily hit center of L'Aquila, rescue crews, students and even nuns from a local convent joined in the effort to pull survivors from the rubble. Students fled a dormitory wrapped in blankets to seek safety in the street. Among the damaged structures was a local church. Initial estimates said at least 15,000 buildings had been damaged, some of them beyond repair, and sniffer dogs were called in to help search for anyone buried under the debris. The main hospital had to be partly evacuated. Reports from isolated villages say some of them have been ravaged, and even in the city center, no one has any intention of going back home for the time being. Streets normally buzzing with traffic given over to families pulling whatever they could manage to save, and rescue crews screaming by ambulances with sirens wailing. One resident said the tremor seemed to move up and down as opposed to horizontally, the way people here are used to feeling the earth shake, which made it all the more terrifying. The epicenter was close to the surface, which tends to make the damage more serious. The Italian government has declared the entire quake zone a disaster area. With an estimated 100,000 people left homeless, that's a situation that seems likely to continue for days, if not weeks, to come. Alan Pizzi, CBS News, L'Aquila, Italy.